And then there was this. The official new Star Wars timeline book states that The Mandalorian's first two seasons and Book of Boba Fett take place in the same year, despite Jon Favreau's uh, recent comments. And then we know that he's been rescued and spent many years with The Mandalorian. This just tells me that the people that are creating Star Wars still actually don't know their own IP. They still don't know what's going on. John Favreau specifically came out and said that it took place over many years. And then we know that he's been rescued and spent many years with the Mandalorian. The creator, the writer, the person that put this story together said that Mando season one and two, I don't specifically know about the book of Boba Fett because he mentions that obviously the book of Boba Fett takes place over a two year period went back with with luke now we've been two years apart from him there training because grogu was with luke for two years but apparently it all takes place in the same year based on this star wars timeline book favreau has no idea what's going on it's so true but how can how can these people be working on this stuff how are we supposed to get good star wars or get good entertainment when they can't even get the timeline right they can't even get the simplest things in the storytelling aspect correct it blows my mind how we're here with star wars it, it, it just again it just indicates to me like i said before that the people that are making star wars right now actually have no idea what they're actually doing with star wars it doesn't seem like there's a plan as much as people want to think that there is, or they want to come out and say that there is a plan. What is Dave Filoni's movie going to retcon from the Mandoverse stuff, from the Mandalorian season one, two, and three? What's it going to do? What sort of damage is it going to do? It's going to do something. And if you don't believe me, read the Ahsoka book and then watch uh, uh, Tales of the Jedi. Massive amounts of retcons. They don't give a fuck about continuity. They don't care. And this is what I was saying before. The SEALs out there don't care. So why should the creators care? As long as they can make people do this. <laughs> that's all that matters. As long as they can make them SEAL clap. That is all that matters. And it blows my mind that this report comes out. That... Mando's first two seasons and Book of Boba Fett take place in the same year after John Favreau at Star Wars Celebration. Oh, but John's so far on the outs now and he hates Kathleen Kennedy so much that he'll do anything just to ruin it. Give me a bucket. Honestly. Honestly. Fake it till you make it. It's exactly what they're doing. The problem is, is that they are, they are making it because the Disney Star Wars seals out there are allowing this to happen. Real Star Wars fans, and I know that they get triggered by hearing that. I'm a real Star Wars fan. I liked the original trilogy and I liked the sequel trilogy. But they were embedded in racism and sexism and toxicity. How are you a fan of that then? How were you ever a fan of that? If that's how you talk about it. If that's what you truly believe. Disney has been able to make Star Wars for everyone. No, George Lucas was able to make Star Wars for everyone. You know what he did though, while he was making Star Wars for everyone, normies, hardcore fans alike? Is he was keeping the law, the continuity, and the canon in check. Not completely. I know that there are issues. Don't get me wrong. But those issues don't completely destroy the fabric of Star Wars. Probably the biggest one out of all of them, honestly. Honestly. Is probably the fact that um, R2-D2 has fucking rockets like can fly now in uh, the prequel. Or the prequels. There's little issues like that. But again, it does not destroy the fabric of Star Wars. It doesn't destroy the characters in that sense. 
like what they did with Luke Skywalker, like what the Obi-Wan Kenobi show did to Vader and Obi-Wan and uh, Bail Organa. Not like Andor, what they're doing with Andor and Mon Mothma. Absolute dis- absolutely destroying that character from what she was. All of those things will be coming up in my upcoming video as well. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully I can put something together sooner rather than later. But again, I see these things and I just, like I said, I, I just, they've got no plan. They don't care. And it blows my mind that this is where Star Wars is. And these are the people that are making Star Wars. And these are the people that Kathleen Kennedy decide to employ for Star Wars.